As mentioned before, our four words here all are similar in using the b and t sounds at the end. So we know that those phonemes will be used in spelling each one of those words phonetically. Now what we're left to do is assign a phoneme for our vowel sounds. So if we analyze the word, it's eh, as in bet. We look at our chart, we see the phoneme which corresponds to that eh sound, and that happens to be the standard e that we all recognize. Here, bet phonetically looks very similar to bet in the Roman script. Now let's take a look at eh, bit. Now we look at our chart and we see that this symbol represents the I sound and that resembles a capital I, not a lowercase i, but a capital I, and so we've arrived at bit. Now with but, we have to find the U uh sound and that corresponds to this symbol here, as in cut, but we simply put it into but and now we've got but. Finally, we have bought and we have to find the phoneme for the aw uh sound. And we look here in our pure vowels and we see that this symbol here is used in pot and that's a very similar sound, in fact the same sound as in bot. So we know that we use this phoneme here to arrive at bot. Now we can take a look at the word photo. Here we have f and we need to find a phoneme for the o, fo, o, we can look on our chart and locate this symbol for the O sound. And again we have to, fo, to, the only difference being the T for the F. And we've arrived at photo, four phonemes there. Now we have taxi. We have t, as in the first sound. Then we have a, and we have to locate the vowel. And now we have the a symbol. The X here actually has two phonemes, the K and S. So we look at the K and S phonemes. And the last phoneme there, E, as in the long I sound, taxi. Now, we have unite. As mentioned previously, there's a slight Y sound at the beginning. So we begin it with our Y phoneme. And then we continue on U, as in U, Yun, the N, N phoneme. And then IT, we have our vowel I, I as in by, and our final T sound, UNITE.